showing you guys how to obtain the normal sword as well as the four other elemental upgrades for the swords. Let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to follow the marker that's on your screen until you reach up to a cannon. You want to interact with that cannon and get it to turn the facing way of the barricaded door. After that, shoot the cannon and it'll open up to the door inside the dungeon. Just a note, you will have to wait until round 10 to do any of the steps to obtain the upgraded swords. So I guess while that, we'll be able to show you how to unlock Pack-a-Punch. Yet again, you want to follow the orange marker directed onto your screen. Keep going and following that marker until you reach the Pack-a-Punch location. Once arriving to the location, you'll see a blue box in the room. You need to shoot three padlocks that's connected to it. A boss will spawn in. You do have to kill that boss, but once you kill it, you'll be able to drop a part for you. For you then to put the part in the blue box. And there you go, you've now got Pack-a-Punch open. Back to the swords now. As soon as round 10 comes in, you need to find a specific zombie. A zombie with a bucket on its head. Once you kill that special zombie, you want to pick up a part that it drops for you to collect. You want to head over to the knight statue room, and you want to interact with one of the four statues. Now, I must say, with each of the statue you do interact with, it will correlate to which upgrade you are going to have to do. So right now we have got the lightning sword. First step we want to do for here is we want to go over to where the arsenal is and we want to obtain dead wire. Now dead wire is going to be very important for this one step. When you come down to this location, you should see an electric box. You need to shoot that box with your activated dead wire and pop out of the air will come the first out of the three parts you need. Now the second part you'll need to get will be right next to dead shot, just up on them wooden crates. Now for the third part you need to find, you need to come across an armored zombie and once you kill that armored zombie it will drop you the third part just a quick tip as well if you are on a round where you've got one zombie left don't worry i recommend with this last part you need to find go to the dungeon area of the map and no matter what if you have one zombie left there will be an armored zombie that will spawn just for that step now after that you want to bring the three parts and plug them into that cauldron part right there you'll be brought into a phase where you have to survive Survive near that object which is sparking electricity and once you see your sword be electrified you need to melee that metal object and you'll have to do this a total of three times now once you do that you want to then interact with the metal object and it will stop being electrified you want to wait around a couple seconds after that you will then be able to obtain the lightning sword. Right, so going over to the void sword, you want to go over to the bookcase room near the knight's statue room where you get the sword. You're only going to be looking for one part in this room, but I must say there is up to five different styles of this part. There can be a jaw you'll find, a fish, a scorpion, raven skull, or a horn. Once collecting that part, you want to head over to where the teleporter is near the starting room and interact with this weird looking code object once doing that you'll want to interact with it again and you'll see there is a code you'll have to figure out basically the green symbols in the middle correlate with the blue symbols on the outside and don't worry i have an image here to show you all the symbols you'll need to connect within each other once completing that you will then see a hole in the ground with red orbs coming out of the code that you interacted with all you need to do is direct the orbs to fly to the hole and don't let them hit you you'll need to do this a total of three times with the orbs and then you'll be located to the next area. Each location will be the same as well, so don't worry for that. But once you reach to the second location, it'll basically be rinse and repeat the same as you did for the first location. Now above from where you are, you gotta go up above to where the pool table is, and you'll see the last hole you need to fill up. Now obviously this area is a little bit tight, so I recommend just holding a maximum of three zombies. After you complete all of the three locations, you wanna then follow this orb. It will bring you down to the basement area and interact with that code sequence thing you want to interact with it and you'll see the sword pop up you have now obtained the void sword now on to the dragon sword guys i would probably say this one is the fastest and the easiest to do and the first step you've got to do is head over to the dragon statue that is above the stairs in the first room you approach in the castle interact with that dragon putting your sword in its holster before i explain real quick get stamina this will be needed after that you want to interact with three located cauldrons near the village area the closest cauldron near you is next to the
the cannon on top of the wall in front of the castle. Once finding the cauldron, interact with it and you will be brought into a timing step where your player is losing health and you have to run back to the dragon statue to then interact with it. Good job, there are now two lights showing up above the dragon telling you you have completed one out of three cauldrons. The other two locations for the cauldrons will be near the starting room area. As showed, you go this direction and you will see the second location of the cauldron. Once arriving, the same thing as last time, interact with it and sprint back to the dragon. Because this location is a bit further from the castle, you can melee zombies with or without the purple eyes to regain your health back. The second cauldron is complete and you now want to get the third one done. So similar to the area of where the second cauldron is, it's just to the left of it in the starting room. Yet again, do the same thing as you've done with the two other cauldrons. Rush back over to the castle, hitting the zombies as well, regaining health. Once doing the third cauldron, you can now obtain your fire sword. For the third and final sword to acquire, once you craft it in the night room, you'll see an increased spawn of parasites. Not just any parasites, but glowing parasites. With your unupgraded sword, knife the parasite and you'll see the blade of your sword glowing. Once that, travel over to the same area you picked the rod part from and you will see a wooden door. Melee the door and the symbol will appear. You now have to do this three times with three glowing parasites. After this, you can then interact with the door and enter a new room. Once you place your sword down, you will see one symbol appear in the holster. Keep that symbol in mind. You will see symbols floating in the the air and you need to shoot the symbol that is correlated to the symbol on the holster. Once first doing this, you need to do this three other times. Once doing that, your screen will become a little bit white and there you will be able to obtain the lion sword. So there we go, that is a guide showcasing all of the steps to upgrading all the elemental swords. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe, it would be appreciated for the channel's growth. Catch you guys in the next one, peace out.